right thing to do as an affair. You break it off. Oh, but I'll die if we can't be together. I've never been this happy in my whole life. No, you won't die. We've studied that too. <laughs> no one in the history of this nation has ever died from breaking off an affair. Not one. A lot of folks died who didn't break them off. I didn't say it was easy. I said it was right. It's not easy to break off an affair. Why? It is obsessive in nature. You do feel like you'll never be happy if the two of you can't be together. It's not easy. But I've never met a man or woman who've ever regretted doing right. But they're in my office and other counselors' offices all over this country who did wrong five years ago. And now they're down off the high. And now they're back into a troubled marriage and they're trying to get help on that second, third, or fourth marriage. Don't misunderstand me. I'm glad they're trying to get help. I'll do everything I can to help them. But folks, listen, we've got to break this cycle of leaving this person and running off of this person when we lose the tingles here and get the tingles here. If you follow the tingles, you could get married six, eight, ten, or twelve times in a lifetime, just like they do in Hollywood. But most of you are not that rich. So I'm going to try to give you some help on how to 